he said, we've got lots of theories, we just don't have the evidence. And I don't know if that was a gaffe. So that was Arizona House Speaker Rusty Bowers there testifying today in Congress about a conversation with former President Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, and their efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. He testified they could not provide any evidence of voter fraud, but still pressured him to decertify Arizona's electors anyway. Emma's on this story, and she joins us live tonight with more details on this. Emma? Well, we caught up with the speaker moments after he landed here in Phoenix following that hearing. Now, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are really praising his compelling testimony. Take a listen to what he had to say about that. I didn't go there to get hailed. I just, I love Arizona. And uh, I don't, I don't want to be bullied. And I don't think our state should be bullied. Now, during his testimony earlier today, Bauer said Rudy Giuliani told him false claims that hundreds of thousands of undocumented immigrants and thousands of dead people voted in the election. Bauer says he asked multiple times for any evidence of voter fraud, which Trump and his team never produced. Now, Bowers also testified that Trump told him Arizona law gives state officials the power to overturn the election. But the House Speaker said he would not break his oath of office and decertify Arizona's electors. Now, Bowers was also visibly emotional during the testimony. He tells me that stems from his faith and strong belief in the Constitution. I always get emotional when we talk about the depth of my faith and when that's called into question. And, and I believe the Constitution is divinely inspired. I do. I, it's not something to throw away and let's just find a new one next week. When they talk about what my wife and our family has gone through, it's been a hard year. It's been a hard year. Now, Bowers also told the committee today how he and his family were the target of harassment with people showing up at his house. Now, before today's hearing, President Trump released a statement saying that Bowers told him he won the 2020 election, but today, under oath, Bowers strongly denied those claims. Live in Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's family. Emma, thank you.